Hey guys, are you like me, always tired of losing your water bottle, not knowing if it's yours, or leaving it everywhere? Well, my solution was to make this little water bottle holster, a little bag. So you can carry it, as you can see, in your arm. It clearly shows it's your bottle. You won't get confused with everybody else's. Normally I would look to see if it had lipstick on the top and it didn't always show. So yeah, this is what I made to solution losing my bottle. And when you remove the cap, you always like, where's my cap? Where's my cap? You could just stick it right in here and you won't lose it. You'll always have it with you. So I'm not a big crocheter at all. I just really started doing it myself. So what I actually did was, I'll show you, is I did double crochets on the bottom. I started with the first circle. It's a double crochet of 12. Second row is a double crochet of 24. Third row is double crochet of 36. Fourth row is double crochet 48. And the last row is double crochet of 60. Now I'll show you what I did here. My double crocheting, what I did was <clears throat> of course the first row is just half of it so I can show you is six then I did double crochets onto every double crochet I did two double crochets to every first double crochet then when I start the next row I start with a single crochet then I increased the double crochet and I went all around doing the same thing then the um, the next row I did a single crochet a single crochet then what I did was I increased by two double crochets and I did that all the way around. Then on the last row, I did three single crochets on each stitch. Then on the fourth stitch, I did a double crochet increase and I followed that all the way along. So you'll see here, it's 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. That's the bottom. So then what I did was I came here and what I did was I did a shell stitch. So um, I don't even know where it finished. Let me see if I could see. Okay, I think it's right here. So what I did was when I finished my uh, 60 rows of the base, what I did was I did a chain, a double crochet, a chain, and two double crochets. Then I counted over five then I did double crochet, two, one chain, two double crochets, counted over five, two double crochets, chain, and so on and so on. So with that stitch I did one, two, three, four, five, six rows. Then when I finished those six rows, when it was time to finish the, the last row, what I did was I did a chain five. So I did three, then I did, let me make sure it was, no I did six, I'm sorry. Yes, I did six chains, I did six chains, came across, then I did a double crochet in between the shells, then I did three chains, double crochet, three chains, double crochet in between the shells, and I went all the way around like that. Then when I finished that row, what I did was I did three, cha um, three chains going up and three chains going across. That's a total of six. Then again, I did a double crochet with three chains, double crochet, attaching to the double crochet, as you can see right there. So I did that. And then what I did to the top was I repeated the same thing. As you could see, I was doing what I did on the top, I did on the bottom, exactly. And for this one I did, I think it was six, one, two, three, four, five. I did five, five rows. Then when I came and I finished going around completely, what I did then was I did three chains, then I did a double crochet with a, space, a chain, two double crochets, then when I came back to the end, I did three chains, 
Then I did two double crochets going in the center of the shell and I came back and did another two double crochets. Then I did a single crochet. Then when I finished the single crochet, what I did was I did three chains, two double crochets, a chain, two double crochets, a single crochet, then I did three chains, then I did two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets, and a double crochet. And I repeated that until I got the length that I wanted for my handle. So let me see how many did I actually do. Like I said, I have, I just made this on the cuff because I kept dropping my bottle. Let me see. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. 10, 11, 12. So I think 12, 13. So 13 and 13, that's 26. I would say like 26. Or as long as you like it, or as short as you like it. So yeah, that was my solution to always not knowing which is my bottle of water, always wondering, is this mine? And always forgetting to pick it up and carry it away because there are so many water bottles out there nowadays that you just forget it. All right, guys, I hope that my little water bottle um, holster, you've liked it, you want to try it and if you do let me know if you like it all right doesn't have to be this pattern you can make whatever you want to make but I just thought it was a cute way of carrying your water bottle and not losing it um, and also when you open your water bottle you always lose your caps but with this you can always tuck your cap right in the side here and you'll always have it at hand and when you're done with your water bottle and you put it to recycle, you have the little bag, which is very collapsible and will fit in a pocket, pocketbook, anywhere. So you won't lose this. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been helpful and it makes you want to try it. Now, what I did use for this was a crochet cotton this is what it was and I just dropped my needle so one second the needle I used I got actually from eBay and eBay had double-ended crochet hooks which I really fell in love with because you get two different sizes you see that's the small one for the cotton and then on the bottom it's bigger for a thicker cotton and no they're not long at all this is very short as you could see this is not the crochet hooks that you would normally use for another technique which is where you would be sliding and reversing the needle around um, this one is let me see what size this is this is a 2.00 and a 3.00 and I like it because you don't have to have so many needles and you get double so I bought this on eBay it came I think in a 10 or 12 pack so you get every variety of size and that's it all right guys I hope you like this you've enjoyed it it's been interesting and like I said I'm just a novice just starting out but this is really, really basic. It's just double crochet, crochets and chains in a sequence, which I showed you here. You can pause the video and write down how many chains. And then down here, I tell you it's 60. This would be your, your circle, the last 60 of the bottom down here. And then to start that, I show you your double crochets, your chain, double crochets, double crochet, chain, double crochet, into your single crochets. And then um, 
when you get to the end you do three chains up and then you do two chains single crochet in here this would be for this part here All right, like I said, I am not <laughs> a professional crocheter. I just started doing it. So one, two, three. Yeah, so what you'll do, like I said, is of this row down here, six, this is eight, this is five, and I think I said something like 30 or something here of the shell stitch for the handle and that's it all right guys like i said please don't ask me questions too much questions about crocheting because like i said i'm a novice i just um started doing this for fun and so i don't lose my bottle all right guys thank you for watching if you like it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and let me know what you think